Hi guys, thank you for being here today. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'm so glad to have you here. I'm just gonna talk very quickly today on keeping things sacred, what that means and how I do it, what exactly I mean by that. Um, so this comes up today because I went in to do my morning meditation and I do try to meditate every day. And I started, as soon as I sat down, to talk myself out of it. I started to tell myself all the things that I still needed to get done today. And I, I like to be productive in the morning and, and move and be busy and check things off my list. And so, and that's, an, that's why meditation is so important for me. It's a way for me to get grounded, to get centered, to get focused, to let go of anything I need to let go of, to send out love and good intentions into the universe before I go out into the world. And it makes me feel good. It is something that I know that I need for my mental, but also my spiritual health. So it's for me a non-negotiable most of the time. Today I tried to talk myself out of it, and then I had to talk myself back into it. And the argument that I made with myself was so convincing, I thought I would share it with you guys. And it's just that this is the thing that you do for you. This is the thing that allows you to be kind to other people, to serve other people, to be a better you in your day. So we will not cut this out of your routine. Do you hear me? And I heard me. <laughs> and um, you know, and so I sat down and did the meditation and I felt wonderful afterward. And of course I was so happy that I did. And it was only, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know, I don't time it. Um, when I went to sit down, that sounded like I don't have 10 or 15 minutes, I need to go ahead and get started. But after the meditation, I was very, very happy that I did it and I decided I will never have that conversation with myself again. I know that for me, meditation is a non-negotiable. It's a sacred thing that I will keep sacred. I will honor that in me. So this week, I want you to think about what are the things that you procrastinate, that you skip over altogether, either because you think that you don't have time for them or you think that other things are more important, other things for other people are more important, things for your job, things for your family, things for you know, other commitments, but you're not keeping the commitments to yourself. Are there things in your life that you are not keeping sacred even though they do you a great deal of good for your mental health, your spiritual health, even your physical health? The gym for me is another that is non-negotiable. I go four or five times a week. I hardly ever cancel. It makes me feel good. It is time just for me. It releases those feel-good chemicals in my brain. I'm able to shake off a bad mood. I laugh. I get some movement. I sweat. It's really good for me. So it's not something that I will give up for just about anything else unless it's an emergency. And the reason I want to encourage you so strongly towards honoring these commitments to yourself is because when you don't, when you decide to skip over something that is important, that makes you feel good, like meditation, like the gym, whatever is your sacred time or your sacred ritual, when you decide that that's not sacred, which is basically what you're doing if you are not doing it daily, when you decide that, that that's not sacred or that's not an important thing, you're telling your subconscious that you are not worthy of 10 or 15 minutes, that you're not worth the investment that this is with physical health, with mental or spiritual health, and you're speaking, you may be reaffirming for your inner child things that have been told to you all your life, that you're not as important as other people, that what you need is not as important as what they need. And a lot of anxiety and depression stems from those kind of thoughts. If you want to change your anxiety, you need to get to the root cause and heal it. So if this is one of your root causes, and it may be that it is something that you need to heal, and healing it is so simple, you just honor yourself. You just stop that pattern, that cycle of not keeping commitments to yourself. You begin to treat yourself like you are as important as everyone else out there because you are, and you will begin to believe in your own self-worth. And you totally benefit from meditating or physical exercise or afternoon tea time, whatever is your sacred time. I encourage you this week to keep those things sacred, to honor your commitments to yourself, and then to notice how that makes you feel. How does your perspective change? Because I think that it will, and it'll be somewhat obvious in the way that you walk, in the way that you talk, in the way that you interact with other people, I believe that you will begin to notice a change. You wanna teach yourself that you're worthy. 
You want to heal that inner child who maybe was told before that, that you're not as important, that you're not a person. That's something that I say all the time. I am a person like everybody else. So I am deserving like everybody else. And you are deserving just because you exist. Take the time this week to honor yourself, honor those commitments, keep the sacred things sacred. And if you would, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your sacred thing that you're gonna honor for yourself this week? How are you taking that time to tell yourself that you're worthy and you're loved? You are so courageous and I love you so much. Bye-bye.